Okay, my people, let's get ready with our pork chops. Let's season this bad boys. I got two center cut pork shot kind of thick, but you get the kind that you like, okay? It's all preference here. So here I started seasoning my pork shot with some garlic powder, onion powder, a little bit of poetry seasoning. Okay, this is your choice. I like to put this in my, just give it that hint and, hit and kick, all right? Here I am using a salt-free seasoning called Spike. It's really good. I've been using that seasoning for over 20 years. It's really, really good. Uh, but you could use any seasoning that you like. I'm adding some black pepper. You know, that's the start of smother pork chops is that black pepper, baby. That black pepper. <laughs> <laughs> and here I add in some Cajun seasoning. You could use whichever seasoning you like as far as Cajun or no Cajun, it's up to you. So on the other side, I'm gonna season it with the same seasoning. The only one I'm gonna leave out is the poetry seasoning because I only just want a little bit of that. So here we're about to season the flour. I have a cup of flour and I added two tablespoons of cornstarch. All right, and I'm gonna go ahead and season my flour with the same seasoning that I seasoned my pork shop, except the uh, poetry seasoning, I'm leaving that out as well. Okay, so the poetry seasoning, I just used just a little bit, guys, and it's all preference. So here I already had cut up some of the onions, I didn't realize, so I'm we're just cutting some onions in slices, guy. And you put, you know, you cut as much as you like. Here we are going to heat up our pan so we can saute our onion. And then we're going to season those onions just a little bit, guys, with a little bit of the Cajun seasoning and black pepper. Okay, you don't use all the seasoning, just a little bit. And some garlic powder. And just let these bad boys saute on medium low heat guys medium low heat give it some love so it could give it you know it could give it right back to you like i always say okay have patient give your food some love so you could receive it right back so here i am sauteing my onions slowly so they could caramelize and here this is also your choice guy if you like your onions with a bite i will stop it right here Mine, you know, since I'm allergic to raw onions, I like to make sure mine are caramelized all the way to the end. Make sure they are well cooked. <laughs> but it's all preference, okay, guys? There's no right and wrong. So now I just added some oil to the pan. And meanwhile, we are going to flour our pork shops guys and while we are doing this guys if you haven't subscribed to my channel what are you waiting for go ahead and hit that subscribe button also guys that like button that's gonna let youtube know that you are enjoying my videos so please do your girl a favor and hit that like button for me okay so this video could go in front of other people and um again you know do not forget that bell icon guys that bell icon is very important why because it's gonna let you know every time i upload a new video and you're gonna get what when you do that <laughs> you're gonna get that front seat guys that front seat okay you're gonna be the first one to see that recipe all right and if you like my recipes guys go ahead and share it with other people don't be selfish now I'm over here sharing this recipe with you. Go ahead and share them with other people. All right, let's spread the love around the country, especially where everything's going on. We just need to just spread love, guys. Just spread love, all right? So, as you can see, I am shaking my pork shop. Meanwhile, my oil has been hitting up on medium low, okay? I am not deep frying them. I'm, you know, I just add enough oil so it could just cover you know half of the pork shop okay and here after if you could see like the little uh, spot of blood to me that's my indication when to turn my pork shops okay when i sit that that means that it had cooked pretty much in the other side and it's time to turn the other side guys and again i'm cooking them on medium low 
make sure your pork sharps are cooked it's pork guys it's pork you want to make sure that pork is cooked all the way tender but cook all right we don't want nobody getting sick on us so look at that and what i like to do since i'm not deep frying them i like to stand up my pork chops like that for about a minute in the in the corners well you know usually has that little bit of fat so it could just cook that little fat that also could be pretty tasty okay <laughs> as you can see look at look at how beautiful those pork chops are guys look at how beautiful they are and when i tell you they were so tender and juicy 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 to the mass i am not exaggerated okay so here i left a little bit of oil and i'm adding about two tablespoons of butter we're going to create the roux um as you can see i am melting the flour again my my fire still on medium low you do not want your root to burn okay whenever you doing root for any gravy give it some love <laughs> give it some love guys and it's gonna give it right back to you i promise i promise guys all right as you can see here i'm stirring it and you know what happened to me guys remember i had put a little bit of the cornstarch on the flour i have forgot all about it and i'm over here trying to do my root with that mixture of the cornstarch and flour no 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 guys you do root only with flour okay no cornstarch so make sure that you are adding flour a tablespoon to two tablespoons of flour to your oil and got um a butter mixture and also i use unsalted butter guys i use unsalted butter as well all right so here i added some fresh garlic y'all know i like my garlic y'all know i like my garlic and it's also really 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 good for your health okay so here after my roux was done and i added the onions and i let it saute for a few minutes i went ahead and added that fresh crushed garlic now i'm adding some water now here instead of water if you had chicken broth in the liquid already that's what would you add at this moment not water okay but since i didn't have the regular chicken broth i am adding water to mine okay because i am going to be using the little package one and as you can see how the the gravy is sticking up now i went ahead and added two more cups of water because I want this to get a chance to cook. I added just a dash of that poetry seasoning, some Cajun seasoning, some more black pepper. That's the star, that's the star, that's the star, that black pepper. Now I'm adding about a half of the package of the chicken bouillon. And since I didn't use bacon, because sometimes I use bacon when I make this, I'm adding a half a pack of the ham flavor all right but it's all preference guys all preference you could leave out whichever seasoning you do not like you could leave it out there's no right and wrong here guys all right but look at our gravy that's what you want right there you see the thickness of that gravy that is just like perfect right there perfect and the flavor guys it is so good and tasty also guys before you add your pork shop just taste your gravy if you feel you are missing any type of seasoning that you like more than the other go ahead add it okay it is yours to eat so make it your recipe all right there is no right and wrong and as you can see look i'm giving those pork shops a nice bath a nice bath and before i serve it guys i like to add some parsley i usually add fresh parsley but i didn't have it so i just used the dry parsley it's not right and wrong and look at my pork shots when i tell you those things were juicy juicy and tasty oh guys y'all know i get excited about my food and i have my collard green right there and with some rice and when i tell you this meal was enjoyed in my household it was enjoyed from the first bite to the last bite 
again guys if you have not subscribed to my channel go ahead hit that subscribe the like and the bell icon and i will see you on the next recipe have a wonderful day